And in this particular video, you're going to learn what is Softaculous and how to use it. Softaculous replaced Fantastico, which is basically a popular suite of software scripts that you can build into your website. Things like WordPress, Joomla, if you want a forum, you can build forums. There are a lot of many different free scripts that you have access to that you do not have to spend extra money for. They're all built in. So in other words, it gives you access to things like WordPress, blogs, bulletin boards, even support help desks and more. So you'll be given an overview of this suite and how to use it properly. And we'll show you how to install things like WordPress in a few clicks of your mouse. So where it's located can differ from different people, but for the most of you, it should be located somewhere down near the bottom. So if we keep scrolling down, we'll see it here. So we can see that it says the Softaculous apps installer. So what's nice about this is you have access to tons of scripts that you could potentially use and just be aware that you want to pick and choose what you want. It's super easy to go trigger happy and try to install as much as possible. But just keep in mind that the more you install, the slower your website is. So pick and choose wisely, maybe one or two or three max. So let me just do a quick run through here. So we've got blogs, we've got microblogs, and if you click these links down below, these are categories, and these are all the scripts. So if you're not really sure which one to choose, if you click on blogs here, you'll actually be able to see all the blogs. So as we can see here, we've got WordPress, We've got open blog, we've got serendipity, and there's a lot more. I'm not going to go through every single one, but if you click on blogs, it'll categorize it. And then you can look through, you've got micro blogs, we've got portals or content management systems like Joomla and all of that. There's also specialized ones for real estate and more. We've got forums. So let's say, for example, you want a community. You want to create a community. Click forums. We've got PHPBB. We've got SMF. And we've actually tried SMFs. SMF is really good. PHPBB is good. Uh, BB Press is also good. And we have image galleries. Now keep in mind, if you're installing something like WordPress, you don't really need all of these. You can actually create all of these within WordPress by using WordPress plugins. And then we have wikis, we have social networking, we have calendars, we have analytics, we have e-commerce. So there are tons and tons of stuff in here, but at the end of the day, the best way to know exactly what to install is to figure out, okay, what is my plan? What is my vision? Does it actually match what I'm trying to do? And then go from there. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install. So I'm going to click on WordPress here. And you're going to see within a few clicks and a few things that we need, need to enter, we're going to create a WordPress site really, really fast. So all you need to do is simply scroll down and click on Install Now. And then it's going to say Software Setup. So you want to choose your protocol, which if you're using a SSL certificate, you want to use HTTPS slash colon slash slash and then if you're not then use one of these two and then one of these and then of course you want to choose your domain name and the reason why this is listed is because if you have a subdomain name you can actually install it in there and then of course the directory if you leave this blank it's going to install it at yourdomain.com if you enter a directory it's going to install it within a, a directory within yourdomain.com. So if it's WP, for example, it'll be yourdomain.com slash WP. So if somebody goes to yourdomain.com, they're not going to see the WordPress site. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. So once you've done that, then what you want to do is enter your admin account. So your admin username and password. Now I will say by default, it does have you enter admin but it's highly advised not to use the word admin because most WordPress blogs use that and it's a, it's super easy for people to hack into your site. So make sure you change something that is not admin 
and not even any words inside of your domain name. So we'll just do something like that. And then of course we got the password. And then of course you'll enter your email. You'll enter your site language and then you'll choose what you want here. You can always choose the theme later. We'll just select this here. And you can enter the email details that you want it sent to. So you have it that information in the future and you click install and that's it. So that's how easy it is to literally install the scripts. If you were to do this manually and install WordPress manually, it would actually take you literally about 30 minutes if you knew what you were doing. If you didn't know what you were doing, it would probably take you about an hour to do, even though they say it's a five minute install. With Softaculous, it skips the process and it allows you to install softwares, a variety of different softwares really, really fast. So hopefully that opens your eyes to the potential software and scripts that you can install really, really fast.